Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did you manage to learn anything? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA-9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner.
Lieutenant. <coughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <coughs> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! I have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Lee, get the fuck out of here! Sumo! Attack! Good job. Attack! Fuck, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <coughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. This homicide... What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. It's clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer every day.
What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Now. We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Find another way. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me.
okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? John! I need your help. John! Drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives.
goddamn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that. Truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. 
We are alive. We are free. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Jesus. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Sorry, I mean, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. Or I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way. Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Connor, what the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. What the fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Driver's license says Michael Graham. Some credit card, cash in the wallet. Picture of his wife and two daughters. Well, I wouldn't want to make that call.
He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. know what happened. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell it you changed your mind. Let's try this one. This better be one. It's 
saw the blue-haired tra- Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on the path. Anything. I made a mistake somewhere. Somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. its track again spent all this money and I'm still not having fun Expensive investigation of my career. Tracy didn't come this way. He didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career.
I lost its track again. Nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Too late. Look at him. Don't move! When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. 
I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Come on, let's go. Probably better this way. These people we're going to see, how do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit suburb is still at large. Police appeared to lose its trail after a close encounter with it. The Arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning. We have just learned that the U.S. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast is 22 degrees, far below seasonal averages. And this cold front is likely to persist over the coming days. Up I've never seen snow evening. before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? Foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Kyra.
over there. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No, no place we could spend the night. falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out.
are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Alice? Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. Who wasn't very happy either. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were so brave, they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. 
Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Alice, sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in it. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. Our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin.
her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately.